So under the access manager settings, there are authentication modules. So basically there are three types of modules. LDAP authentication modules, Kerberos and X509. So all uh, these three types of modules are used in the authentication schemes. Okay, so if I go back in authentication schemes, which are uh, present here, like if, if I open my LDAP scheme, If my if I open my LDAP scheme, it has these following following things: name, description, and important thing is authentication module. So it is using an LDAP module. Okay. We'll discuss about the other parameters in the coming slide. So what I want to say is policies are linked with schemes, and schemes are linked with modules. So for us. When we are defining, uh, we always use these schemes. These are these are the default schemes which are already present. So suppose uh, you try to ask, you try to deploy your new application. You if you you develop you develop some application and you deployed it on the WebLogic server, and you want to protect it. So for protection, you are going to create a WebGate profile. You created this something called Amman underscore WebGate. After creating this profile, you are going to you are going to create a resource or you you are going to protect that URI which you have already created. So to protect it, to protect it, like I have this resource, Aman underscore WebKit is a host identifier and this is a resource URI. Now you you will add one more resource, you will add one more resource here. You you create one more resource like this. You say it is an, an HTTP resource and let us put as test. You use the host identifier. If you are using the same host identifier, it is fine. Or you you are creating a new thing like for web center, you are going to create a new host identifier. Now my resource URL might be like benefits. My protection level is I'm telling it as protected. My policies are protected policies. Authorization is protected policies. So in this way, I have created one resource. So when I am selecting authentication policy as protected resource policy, okay, when I am selecting it, so by default my protected resource policy is using an authentication scheme with an LDAP scheme. It, it, it is already having an LDAP scheme. So in this way you can create, either create a new policy here, you can create a new policy. In authentication policy you can click on create a new policy and you can give any other scheme here, and like like basic scheme you can give, okay, or anything, and you can call it as a test scheme, and you can protect your new URL using this this new scheme which we have created. Okay. So this scheme will come under this tab, my authentication policy tab this test scheme got created. So any number of, uh, oh, sorry, I gave it as name as scheme, it should be policy. So any number of policy you can create, any number of policy you can create, that policy needs to have something called schemes and those schemes needs to have something called modules. So if you look at the schemes, if, if I click on the basic scheme, it is also using an authentication module as LDAP. So when it is using an LDAP, it means it, it is it needs host and it needs user and password. Right. So LDAP is basically and for LDAP it requires an LDAP server. For LDAP server it requires a user identity store, which is configured in OEM. So everything is linked like this. It goes to policy. So there is something called policy, when we say authentication policy, it goes to schemes, from schemes it checks for the modules, if from modules, suppose it is an LDAP module, then it will check for the LDAP server, for LDAP server it is uh, going to check the user identity store, 
and from the user identity store it is going to it is going to fetch the user details and validate it and create a session so if you see om console it is not a very complex console so this part is schemes other is host identifier this is a resource and these are the application domain so if you see it's it's a very very simple type of uh, console you don't have to you know navigate here and there to find a lot of things you configure your policy you give the schemes uh, modules are already present in the schemes and after modules if it's an ldap it goes to ldap server if it is a kerberos so it is going to for for kerberos is a different thing i mean it comes under om advanced topics where it goes for windows native authentication and other is X, x509 where which is based on public key encryption certificates like x509 certificate exchanged and in 11gr2 there is something called ys also where ys scheme is already also available so there is no need of separate managed servers from 11gr2 so all these policy modules everything are present in policy configuration and system configurations major things which we have are sso agents common settings okay after common settings it says user identity store which is an ldap store and other thing is token processing which is federation so from here to you know practice yourself you need to create some resources or you can use a sample word file and try out what this basic scheme does what this uh, you know form based scheme does what is ldap scheme does so all of them do the same thing it it authenticates the user but the way it comes up and shows it's little different because the modules we are using is an ldap module so anyway it is it is going to do the same thing so apart from authentication modules defined previously om also provides two additional authentication modules which are dap and anonymous modules which are available to use in authentication schemes so anonymous modules or anonymous scheme is like it is not going to ask user name and password basically it is a public resource policy so by default by default if we see public resource policy by default if we see a public resource policy in authentication policy if i go in public resource policy it it has an anonymous scheme okay. if you see this it has an anonymous scheme so anonymous scheme uh, it's like unprotected resource so when a user request for a resource and it found that it has a policy which is public resource policy or it is having an anonymous scheme then it is not going to ask for username and password it will directly give you the access 